But for one Western New Yorker, the World Cup and the game of soccer means so much more. 7 News reporter James Catano here with us this morning showing us why. Hi, James. Hey, Katie, what's going on? We know about athletes on the field, but what about off the field? For one Western New Yorker, his journey to soccer started across the world. But he tell you the years it took him to get to this point were well worth it. What does your dream look like? Laura and Digano could tell you what it looks like and what it sounds like. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Soccer is the focal point of Gloa's life, stemming all the way back to his childhood in Kigali, Rwanda. Some of my friends, we used to have like a little group, like a little soccer team, we would do so much together. It's uh, like a, something like a passion to him. And Gloa always found ways to play, no matter the circumstance. We created through like a balloon uh, and we like, put it over like different bags, wrap it up. So that was, those are the soccer balls we used. All while his family was in a refugee camp for eight years before moving to the United States in 2010. Now he had a totally different challenge he had to face. And some of the kids would like kind of like make fun of like the way I spoke because I didn't know English that much. But then I was like, you know what, it's fine. Uh, at the end of the day, one day I'll be uh, the best student here. After finishing middle school at the top of his class, Gloa moved on to Hutch Tech, where all the academic and athletic pieces started to come together. He was finally playing organized soccer through Soccer for Success, a national program helping kids not only play soccer on a team, but also develop life skills as they get older. If it wasn't for Soccer for Success, I would have never been recruited by BSA, which was like Buffalo Soccer Academy. That recruitment led to a commitment. For the past four years, Gloa has played at Canisius College. Now, as he gets ready to graduate with a bachelor's degree, he's paying it forward, coaching at Soccer for Success. As soon as I grew up, I was like, I'm gonna start working here and try to like work with different kids and see if I can help them also, you know, find that, that area of growth. Between a language barrier, playing college soccer, or working three part-time jobs, Gloa's mom, who spoke to me in Swahili during our interview, with Gloa translating what she was saying in the background, says that when her son has a goal, it's hard to stop him. Yeah, Gloria. He is very intelligent, uh, and also when he sets his mind to doing something, he really gets it done. And it all started with a kid from Rwanda playing with balloons as soccer balls and never giving up on his dreams. I want to remember as a person that went through struggles here and there and still stood up 10 toes, you know, and still fought back and made sure that he had a purpose. So right now, Ed and Katie, that purpose in life is a communications bachelor's degree from Canisius, and in just a few weeks, he's going to be finishing his women and gender studies minor at Canisius as well. So, so many things going for him right now. Congratulations to him. I mean, what an accomplishment and achievement in his family alone coming from a refugee camp and now being so successful, not only in, on the field, but in life as well. I know. I would incredible. love to see him play professionally. Yeah, that would be it so would be cool. so fun to it's see. It's a big goal of his, and sure. he's really, really talented, too. I got to tell you, I got a message a little while ago from his sixth grade teacher, Nancy Carroll, on no Facebook. Way. Yeah, saying that she'd love to share it. So make sure you're posting that on WKBW. Oh, my goodness. Yes, of course. You'll definitely see that on WKBW later. Well, he's made an impact in the community, that's for sure.